today's video, we're getting ferocious. That's right, we've got Ferocious Beard Company out of Fort Worth, Texas. Nate is the owner and he's been in business for a long time. Um, I think he was around when I first started growing my beard and looking for products at the end of 2017 into 18. Uh, I'll have to check with him and see. And he'll probably put down below. But it seems like I remember seeing Ferocious around for a long time. He's just now recently gone full time into his business venture here into Ferocious Beard Company. And we're going to be reviewing some things for you today. So welcome. My name's Brian. This is my Beards and Banjos YouTube channel where we try to help you grow your best beard possible. Thank you so much for joining me. And we're going to be talking about a few things here. So I've got uh, two oils and two different scents. Nate is all about community. And when I remember his website from before, he had like all of these different scent options. You could do a mix and match thing and kind of create your own scent and you still can. But also he's now brought in the community. He has live stream events and uh, fun stuff. And they uh, kind of do collaborations called Collaborations Corner. And that's what these two scents are. So one of them is called Texas Cowboy, uh, which we'll talk about the scent profile in a minute, but that is a collaboration with Dagan Newland, also known as BGG Beard Reviews on YouTube. I'll put his uh, YouTube channel link below. Make sure you check him out and subscribe. And then also one of my uh, subscribers uh, by the name of Satisfied Senior. He's done a lot of collaborations with uh, Nate over at Ferocious, and he sent me one out called the three R's, which we'll talk about in a minute. I also have uh, the butter in the three R's, and I have the wash and conditioner uh, that we will talk about. All right, so let's go with the prices really quickly. So your one ounce oil is $19.99, and these are the prices that are retail as far as I could find. You know, sometimes there's sales going on, and right now there's a sale going with that with the codes, and you can do combination deals and all that stuff. I'm just going to give you the basic stuff here, and then you can do some digging yourself and see what kind of uh, additional discount you may be able to get. But oil is $19.99. Um, that's a one ounce, a two ounce balm or butter is $24. Four ounce wash and conditioner for $19.99. There's a lot of other products that Nate has available, and we'll look at a few of those, but I, th that's what I have to review, so that's all I'm going to list for you guys right now. So the oil blend is uh, jojoba, apricot, sweet almond, sunflower, and castor. This is a medium uh, oil straight down the middle. Uh, basic, uh, it's got your um, kind of traditional carrier oils. Uh, for me, it's kind of an average feel in beard. It didn't knock me down. And I think the reason is because it doesn't have some of the, uh, the traditional carriers that I have known that, that really makes my beard feel soft. So I feel like the, uh, the oil does a good job. It just doesn't make my beard feel feel silky soft. Um, I think is missing, at least for me. I have know, know things like meadow foam seed or uh, coconut or fractionated coconut and hemp seed oil. Those are the ones besides the, the more exotic carriers that you see occasionally. Those are the kind of the traditional carriers that usually make my beard feel super soft. And this doesn't have it. Uh, let's talk about the butter real quick. So the butter has a shea butter, lanolin, which is a, a type of wax variation, sunflower, uh, oil, apricot, castor, and jojoba, which were some of the carrier oils in there with it. This is a poured butter. It is on uh, the thicker side in that it's, well, it feels really light, but it's uh, it's not very moisture laden, right? So it's kind of a drier type of butter. It takes a little bit of time to work down, put in your beard. Once again, because of um, uh, the, the ingredients in it, it doesn't make my beard feel super soft, but it does give me uh, some nice weight to it, a little bit of hold with that lanolin uh, and the shea, and it's kind of a, for me, it's a daytime butter. It's going to give you a long lasting uh, nourishment there for your beard um, on the butter. All right. Uh, and then let's talk about the wash and conditioner. So the, the label on the wash, for some reason, kind of, uh, it looks like it's a uh, you know, oil proof, waterproof type of label. But the first time I used this in the shower, it, it messed it up for some reason. It hasn't done it since then, uh, just the initial. And then the conditioner label's fine on that. But this is a castile soap base um, that, if I remember right, Nate said he gets the ingredients and mixes those together himself. And then the conditioner is uh, pre-made. Uh, and this one's unscented. Um, I think he's switching stuff to unscented, but that one comes as a, a pre-made conditioner. And the conditioner to me is, uh, if you read the ingredients, it's more like the conditioner that you use traditionally for your head hair. I'm not big into conditioners. I used to know my head hair and, and my beard a couple of times on my beard and on my hair more just because I don't traditionally like those type of conditioners in my beard. 
But uh, it does its job if you like those conditioners that, uh, you know, they're a little bit weighty or super thick uh, conditioners. Well, not super thick. You can get it out, but it's a thick conditioner. Uh, and then the wash. I love the wash. Suds Explosion, which I love. The only drawback is that it's really, really thin. And I've had some other, I always love the Castile Soap um, bases, Castile Soap washes is what uh, this has in it. So uh, I think one thing you may be able to try, and this is not, I've had thinner uh, beard washes, but this is really thin uh, where you almost have to pour it in your hand and start lathering it up before you put it up here so you don't lose any of it. It's kind of hard to tell much you have in your hand because it's clear and looks like water. Uh, but if you uh, you may be able to spam, experiment around with uh, guar gum uh, is, is a kind of a natural ingredient that's a, used as a thickener. That might work. It just needs to be just a tad thicker and it would go straight. And right now it's going to be on one of my top washes because I just love that kind of wash. But if it's just a little bit thicker, it would definitely move up there and be a little bit more pleasurable experience. The Suds Explosion, I love that. I feel like it cleans my beard and it's gentle. I don't feel like I need to use a conditioner afterwards, which is the kind of uh, beard washes that I love. And I've heard a lot of other guys say, that uh, they love this wash as well. Uh, another uh, slight drawback for me is at this is only four ounces and it's 19.99. Uh, I've seen some eight ounce uh, beard washes and conditioners for pretty much that same price. So I don't know if maybe you can find an eight ounce container and can uh, you know. Uh, it wouldn't be double the price. You could probably sell a little bit cheaper because a lot of times the cost comes in the, the bottles and the labels and those kind of things. So um, you, if you had it in an eight ounce bottle, you may be able to be a little more cost effective per ounce. Maybe have, a, you know, $26, $27 for eight ounces would uh, kind of cut the cost down. But then again, you know, the stuff is going to last a while. You don't want to get too much uh, and have it sit around too many months in your shower. But that was another thing I noticed when I looked at the website. And in fact, let's look at the website right now. <clears throat> so here we go. So uh, Mental Health Awareness Month. You can actually save 30% till the end of May. And that gets that price down quite a bit. You can use the code mental health um, to do that. And as you look, the, the website is just a little bit overwhelming because there's so much stuff on it. A lot of stuff happening on this website. I think one reason is because Nate's been in business for so long that he's, you know, he's added uh, products here and there and a lot of scents and, and those kind of things. But uh, I'll show you, try to show you a few things here. So, um, you can go to, there's a daily deal. If you click on it today, it said you can get a, a butter for like $12.99, unscented butter. That would be a great way to uh, kind of offset some cost as well. There's a ferocious two oil deal. There's a buy three, get one free. I don't know what might stack with that mental health code, uh, but I do know that Nate is very uh, responsive. So if you're on Instagram, you can send him a message there or uh, the contact us feature here, send a quick message, or you can even call uh, Nate on that. He would be really glad to answer your questions, I know. But a couple other things that are really interesting is this Magic Mist Moisturizer. Uh, a lot of, I've heard a lot of guys talk about that. If you've tried the Magic Mist, and I haven't dove into what's in here because I haven't reviewed it, uh, but that's something that uh, was interesting. Another thing that's interesting is the hair growth stimulator with the peppermint oil uh, that it actually has some scientific studies behind it. Uh, you can read all about that. I kind of want to try that here on my uh, gaps between my mustache and my beard. Uh, to fill in. So that would be cool. Let me know if you've tried that in the comments. And then also, as you as you take a look, there's some body care stuff, body wash, body butter, multi-purpose multi balm, uh, balm, body wash, um, lots of other stuff available besides what I reviewed for you guys. If you want a nut-free um, blend of oils, you can ask for that too. So a lot of cool stuff on there. And then there's a lot of scents uh, a lot of different places to go to find scents too. So if you go to, mm, let's see, where did I go for that? Let's just go to beard oil here. And you have all of the normal scents, which is great, but I actually think the magic there is going into the, um, let's see, the historic and retired scents for one. You can get into the historic oils uh, and read down here all of those to choose from, and there's tons of them. Nate's been doing this for a long time. Um, so there's that. And then the collaboration corner stuff. Where do I find those? Okay. Hey, it's in bold, Brian. Let's take a look at that. Collaboration corner scents. And there's a lot of these. There's 96 of these just in stock right now. 
all kinds of cool stuff. And I like that lately, uh, over the past couple pages here, he actually has it just listed on the on the little picture about what's in it. And in, in some of these, it tells who it's from. So if you're in the community, you may recognize some of these names, like my friend Joey Hookham here. You can check out his uh, Hookham Juice, Vanilla, Bean, Blueberry, Honeysuckle, Oud, Raspberry Porter, and uh, sandalwood. So you start to see some really cool, interesting things. And Nate actually has a collaboration corner um, live stream on his YouTube channel, which I'll put below. I think that's every Tuesday at 7.30 Central PM. Um, so the, you get in there and you can submit like a combination of a scent profile and he picks one and he tries it out and he uh, grades it A, B, C, D, E, uh, A, B, C, D, F just for fun. And if it turns out to be an A or B scent he thinks is really good, he'll throw it up on the website and allow everybody else to uh, to purchase it. So very cool stuff. Uh, Nate is all about community, which is which is great to see for sure. In fact, I need to talk about these two collaboration corner scents. So the Texas... Uh, Texas Cowboy, which is Texas cedar wood, pine needle, and tobacco flower. This one's a really manly, rugged, outdoor kind of scent. So that you get the Texas cedar wood and pine needle to start with. I don't really get tobacco. Um, the scent on this is uh, pretty strong out of the bottle, but it wears off pretty quickly. You know, 30 minutes to an hour after that, it's going to calm down quite a bit. So, um, you know, I'm not a huge fan on pine, but this is mixed with the Texas cedar wood and some other stuff, and it smells really good. I do like a good woodsy scent, and that's exactly what it is. Uh, this one surprised me here. The three R's from my friend, uh, Satisfied Senior, had this one sent out to me. So the three R's, and let me read this here, is rose, rosemary, raspberry porter, and white oak. Uh, which is not one I would think I would like because I don't like floral stuff. And this has got rose in it, and you get it to start with. Uh, like when, when I first smell, it's like, okay, that's floral. I'm not going to like that. It's kind of on the, and then it's like, it's kind of on the borderline if I'm going to like it. And then two minutes later, after I warm it up and put it in, I'm really digging it. Something about that raspberry porter comes through, and it is just an excellent scent. It is on the floral side, but it's on it's a floral side that I actually really enjoy. I don't get tons of rosemary uh, in it because I don't really like the the, the earthy, herby kind of scents. Uh, I'm not a big fan of those when they're in a large doses anyway. This is not. So you get rose and that raspberry porter white oak kind of blends together. Uh, and it's a really nice scent. So I thoroughly enjoyed that one for sure. Let me know if you've tried any of uh, Ferocious's um, products and uh, take a look at the website. It takes a while to navigate. Like I said, there's 96 collaboration corner scents. There were like uh, several dozen uh, retired scents. There's a couple dozen or so that are current scents. So lots of different scents to choose from. If not, you've got the opportunity to create your own, which is very cool. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Check out Ferocious. Let me know in the comments uh, what you think. And if you have any questions, you can always uh, reach out to me or reach out to Nate at Ferocious. He'll be glad to answer your questions. And as always, I appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you soon.